Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the best paid places to learn to become an ethical hacker. Whether you are wanting to become a penetration tester or a bug bounty hunter, these are gonna be the places that I recommend that you dedicate your time and resources to if you want to move into the world of cybersecurity. Now, this video is specifically gonna focus on the paid resources and those platforms that actually require subscriptions. I have covered in the past places to go and learn for free. So we're going to kind of try to stay away from those. And this is more going to focus on those that require subscriptions. So you have a little bit of money and you want to know where to put it to get the best educational experience for your hard earned money. That is the purpose of this video. So before we start, the reason I am making this video now and I never have before is because I get asked almost daily, I'll get emails or comments about people asking where to go if they want to get some kind of paid subscription. And I've never made this public because I always feel like if I'm ranking different platforms, then I'm saying this one is not good or one I wouldn't go to when that might not be the case. I am ranking these based off of the ones that I believe is gonna give you the best experience, the most knowledge, for the amount of money that you're paying. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into it. Pentester Academy. So if you just Google Pentester Academy, you can click on the first one at the top and you're going to land on this page. Now you're gonna see a lot of these Black Friday sales, but we're gonna take into account the average price without the Black Friday sale. So if you come in here, you're gonna see that Pentester Academy, I'm gonna assume is was recently purchased by INE, who we're gonna talk about a little bit later. And Pentester Academy is one that you're gonna see get recommended a lot on forums or on Twitter. So Pentester Academy is going to be pretty well known. So you have these prices right here. And one of the things I want to show you is if you come over to the courses and let's say we want to say we're interested in attacking and defending Active Directory because we wanna become penetration testers. So we click on this and it takes us over here and we're like, okay, uh, this wasn't as much information as I want. I can see they don't actually keep their web application up to date. So how am I supposed to trust that they keep their content up to date if they can't even change the date right here on their actual web application? But we wanna look at some videos and in these videos, I'm just gonna tell you, they have labs that go along with them. And so if you go and you say, I wanna subscribe, right over here with the pricing because I wanna get access to these labs. If you do the monthly, you actually don't get access to these labs or all of the labs. You'll get access to some of the labs, but not all of them. It is not completely clear what you get with this subscription right here. And this price seems kind of steep for what you're going to be getting in my opinion. I have never gone through any of their boot camps, so maybe those are worth it. But for this reason, Pentester Academy is ranked number five on my list because it's pretty steep. I'm not really sure if they keep their information up to date. They can't even keep their web application up to date. And when I subscribe for $70 a month, I expect to get access to everything. I shouldn't have to pay extra to get access to extra labs. I should be able to get access to different materials and they already limit you right here on the number of videos you're allowed to watch per month. If you're limiting the number of videos I'm allowed to watch, you should allow me to have access to all the videos and each month when I'm allowed to watch a hundred new videos, that should allow me to watch a hundred videos on anything on the website. It shouldn't limit me and say, I need to pay an extra amount of money to get access to this content. And then I'm restricted to hundred videos. I don't really like that. So for those reasons, Pentester Academy is number five. Okay. So number four is going to be Pentester Lab. So if we open up this right here, we can see a Pentester Lab already the web application looks a lot better. It is a lot more neat and clean. It looks nice, but that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in what can we learn. So if we actually come over here to the exercises, we can look at all of the labs that they offer. And there are a ton of labs on here. Now it has been several years since I have had a subscription to the Pentester lab. So I'm not entirely sure exactly how it works anymore, but from what I can remember, their walkthroughs are not as in depth or as helpful as, as I remember me wanting them to be. So Pentester lab is a great place to go and to practice if you want to do only a web application, because that is their niche. That is what they're focused on. They're focused on web applications. And the reason I place them at number four is because a lot of this that they have have right here on their website is free on port swicker. 
So you can actually go to a port swigger and do a lot of these labs and learn a lot of this for free there. And then if you're still interested in web application beyond what you've learned at port swigger, you can come over here and pay at Pentester lab for additional labs and practices. One of the things about Pentester lab that is really great is their pricing is $19.99 a month. So 20 us dollars. And this is actually a really great price for what they are offering. So if you think you want to try Pentester lab, I would say go to port Swigger first, do their labs because they are going to have hundreds of labs, the same as Pentester lab and their labs are free. And you can actually see if this is something you're interested in and would like to start purchasing and practicing in more depth. So that is Pentester Lab and they come in at number four. So number three is gonna be INE. And I really had a hard time placing them at number three because they have a pretty bad reputation in the cybersecurity world. But when you actually go through some of their training, they actually do a really good job with the training on their website. Aside from that on Pentester Academy, what they do is they will give you a slideshow for you to walk through, read the slideshow, go through examples and walkthroughs. Then they'll often have a video explaining more about the vulnerability or about networking or whatever it is that you are interested in. And then they'll have some kind of a practice lab where you can practice what you read about in the slides, watched in the video, and then you get some hands-on practice. And that method of learning, I think is really well done. Despite their reputation as a consumer is something that I would recommend to other people, especially if you're new. And if you come and look at their pricing plans, they give you a free seven day trial. So you can actually see if you like their teaching style so some of you might not like the slides and the videos and you just want to walk through and maybe some kind of lab where you can practice but for 39 dollars a month and a seven day free trial you can try this and see if you like it and you'll actually have access to a lot of different labs you're not stuck to just one area such as networking or cybersecurity or some kind of programming you can check out different labs especially in the seven day free trial to see if you like the instructors and the way they present the material so number three is INE. if you are new to the world of cybersecurity it will be a great place to learn okay and number two is going to be try hack me. So the reason I put try hack me at number two is because try hack me is really cheap. It is really popular and it is a very, very beginner friendly. So the way try hack me will work. Let's see if we can look at some of these paths without having to log in. I think it might make us log in, but okay. So it doesn't, what they do is they walk you through how to do different exploits. So they'll often have an introduction and then they'll have these different labs and inside of these labs, they'll actually explain to you what is going on. So it's a lot of reading, but it is done really, really well. And it's geared towards beginners in my opinion, who know pretty much nothing. So if you're brand new to the world of cybersecurity, I would say go with try hack me and st start with their basics of Linux and and Windows and then you can go through the cybersecurity path. There's all kinds of really great paths, but their Linux and Windows are going to be really helpful in just learning the basics of Linux and the basics of Windows, how the operating systems work and some basic vulnerabilities. So if you're brand new to the world of cybersecurity, I would totally recommend going with try hack me. It's going to be a great place to learn the basics and the introductions to the world of cybersecurity. So the number one spot is going to go to hack the box, but there is is a little bit of a caveat to hack the box being number one. First, I don't think hack the box is very beginner friendly, but if you're a beginner and you want to go with hack the box, I want to show you kind of where to start. So we're going to look at the Academy as well as just the plain hack the box webpage. So we'll go ahead and log in and I'll show you like, this is the dashboard. I come right here to this dashboard and you can check out, they have web challenges, which are really going to be hard. If you're new, they have their regular boxes. They'll have the pro labs. So hack the box, has a lot of things you can practice, but if you're new, Hack the Box is gonna be way over your head. So I would recommend going to Hack the Box Academy. And I actually love Hack the Box Academy. Whoever built this and designed it did a really good job in laying out the information, presenting walkthroughs as they explain exploits or how things work, and then the labs at the bottom. The only thing I have against Hack the Box Academy is sometimes the pwn boxes or the target boxes that you're trying to attack don't always work quite right and you get disconnected more frequently than I would like. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and log in here and then kind of show you what to look for. So here is the Hack the Box Academy dashboard. So you have these little cubes right here, which you actually have to pay for. And the subscriptions for Hack the Box Academy is really quite expensive, but I think it's worth it. That's why I place it at the number one spot. And you actually get to go through things like these modules and you can look through all these modules and see what it is that you're interested in learning. And so you can go to the Linux fundamentals and you can actually get this for free just by making it making an account. You'll get three of these tier zeros for free and go through some of these fundamentals and see if you like how it is structured. But as you get more advanced, Hack the Box Academy is gonna be the place you want to go in order to learn. It is going to be way better, like light years, ahead of everything else for the money. And Hack the Box does a really good job at getting more advanced and aiming more towards those middle level penetration testers or bug bounty hunters and getting beyond the basics. A lot of the other paid subscription services are gonna be geared really towards beginners. And so Hack the Box really moves beyond the basics and that is why I put them at number one. Now for a bonus, if you are new, what I recommend is you don't just go with one of them, but you start out with Try Hack Me because they're gonna be really geared towards the beginner and the basics and they're going to be the cheapest and you're going to be able to see if you really want to go down this field and then after a couple months move into hack the box because they are a little more advanced than try hack me or really any of the other platforms so that is my recommendation to you if you are interested in a full learning path you can check out this video right here and i will walk you through everything i think you need to learn and the order that i think you need to learn it thanks for watching